guys, this video is going to be on hamster beddings. I've got a few examples to show you here. So we've got like regular bedding like what you put on the base of the cage, um, nesting materials and litter. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with the kind of regular bedding. And the first one I want to talk about is shavings. You can also get sawdust, but they are pretty similar, apart from sawdust tends to be a bit dustier and stuff. Um, and so for the cons of this bedding, so probably the main one is it can be dusty. I've got the flaky sort, and I'll just show you it right at the end. So it's not as dusty, so it's better. It gets stuck in long-haired Syrian's fire, so you're going to have to keep brushing it out. Because occasionally... Only stuff out something like this on one or two occasions. Get blocks of wood like this. What I really don't like about this block though is it's partly pink. There it's more ready. But that is not good at all. And it can also bring out allergies in hamsters and humans. That's done. Um on to the pros. It's cheap. It doesn't really tend to be that expensive unless you buy certain really high quality ones. It's popular. I know many, many people that use this as well as many people that don't. It's widely available. Pretty much wherever you go to a place that sells small pet stuff, they will have wood shavings. Uh, it's absorbent. It does last quite long. Box like this full of RBOs, which I'm talking about next. Last week, this last two weeks, and sometimes I may have a little bit left at the bottom because normally after one week I've got about that much left, which does the hamsters and the guinea pigs' cage. Sometimes I need to put a bit more in the guinea pigs' cage after. Uh, and it's good for digging. digging. So the one that I have looks like this. And it's good because it's nice and absorbent and flaky. I'll use this for the guinea pigs as well. The next one I want to talk about is RBS. So for start with cons again, it can stick to the cage if you've got plastic one. Um the wood shavings do sometimes, but not as bad as the abuse. It doesn't seem to last long, as I've already explained. Um, I don't know if it does, but there's a possibility it could get stuck in long fur. Um, well, all beddings can, but... Yeah. So I'm going to start with the pros now. You get a 20 kilo bag or about ten pounds at most places, and they are huge bags. Um, it's absorbent. It keeps down the odor. It's not dusty at all. Um, this is mixed in with litter. I stopped using it now, but this is the litter tray in the playpen, and it looks like that. And it's your horse bedding, but it's fine for hamsters. I'll be linking the website to the obvious down below. The next one I want to talk about is Megazorb, which I do not have here to show you. I've used it for the hamsters a couple of times before, but I mainly use it for the rabbits. So I'm going to start with it. Okay. So it can stick to long fur again. It actually got stuck to Bramble's fur once when it was up on the top level and he laid in it and it got stuck. But that was only on one occasion. One or two occasions. Um, this is kind of a mixed thing, but some people say it's dusty, the bag's leg gets dusty, some people say it's not dusty. I don't really get the dust, I haven't really had the dusty ones before. Um, so, yep. And it can... Well, it sticks to the plastic as well. 
Um, so what I have to do with the rabbits is kind of get a scraper and scrape it. So I'm going to go onto the pros now. It's not really that expensive. Um, you get a massive bag for not that much money. I think it's around seven to ten pounds. I'm not really sure. And it lasts a long time. I've had three of those bags since June, and the last bag's getting a little bit lonely just now. So that is about eight months, I think. Yeah, about that long. Here is eight months actually. You can see where they've been. So it goes a brown colour. So that's that one. And I want to talk about Carefresh. Again, I don't have it to show you. I've used this once before. Um, let's start with cons. It's very expensive. Seriously, it's like five pound for a little bag, and some of it's just six pound just because it's coloured. Um, it's quite dusty as well, which I do not like at all. Though some people say the ultra one is less dusty. Um, and. It's not like this in America because they or Canada because they pretty much have it everywhere. There. But in the UK it's kinda hard to get hold of sometimes. But the pro is it is absorbent and some of the ones you get, like the colours and the confetti ones, look quite pretty. But the natural one it doesn't look pretty at all. <laughs> so yeah. I'm now going to be moving on to nesting material and <coughs> the first one I want to talk about is the cotton wool bedding. And I'm sure a lot of you will have a lot of said to show you and I'm sure a lot of you already know why and if you don't I'm pretty sure you'll understand why it's not here when I'm finished telling you about this. This bedding is just a complete no. No, no, no. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> the reason why is because it can kill your hamster. The only possible pro, if there ever was one that I could find, is probably it would keep your hamster quite warm. But any bedding can if you put enough in. Um, and that is no reason why you should buy this bedding. <coughs> So, as I said, it is basically a murder weapon. Um, the first way your hamster could die is the limbs can get stuck in the fibres of it, which will cause poor circulation or completely cut off the circulation, and your hamster will then eventually chew through the limbs, which is pretty disgusting. Or... So we're not going to think about that too much. Or the hamster could be pouching their bedding to move it somewhere else. They could swallow some. And then it has a high chance of getting caught in the intestines. Which will again kill your hamster. And it does also, it seems to be quite expensive. Because it's like two pounds. About two pound nine in pets at home. I know it's pets at home, but this example I found. Um, for a bag about the size of the Wilco beddings. Um, basically to kill your hamster. And the Wilkinsons are selling this as well, but they've called it viscous or viscose. Um, but I still wouldn't buy it because it is cotton wool type bedding, and any bedding you see like that, avoid it much as you can um because <coughs> you're basically just buying a murder weapon and it's going to be quite unabsorbent and very smelly if they peed on it okay so that is that Avoid. the next bedding i want to talk about is the paper bedding looks like this i'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen this already um 
So, let's start with the pros. It's cheap. You can get a good size bag for about a pound at Wilkinson's. It's widely available. It's edible, so um, it doesn't really matter if they eat it. It's not a food, but they do it's fine, like the edible vegetable parchment pepper bedding at Wilkinson's. It just dissolves. Um, if your hamster does pee on it, you can see where they've been because it goes yellow. Um, and you can get kind of, if you've got a white one, and you can get kind of like nice bright colours to make your cage look quite a bit more attractive. Um, the cons of it is if they do pee in the house, um, it stinks. It really, really stinks. And it's if you've got the white one, it's just kind of a dull, smelly yellow, which isn't very nice. But that's all I have to say about that one. Now the next bedding is Lou Roll. Everyone has to have seen Lou Roll. I mean, come on, guys. Um, so it's kind of free because... I'm pretty sure everyone would have some loo roll around that house, so you can just pull some off and then give it to your hamsters. Um, it's in every supermarkety kind of place, so it's widely available. When it's finished, you get the tube, which is good because it's like kind of like a free toy. They can go through it, or they can chew it. Um, it smells if they pee on it. As a corn. Um, again, it will just be that yellowy colour, unless you've got the coloured one. Depending what kind of quality your loo roll is, it can come apart very easily. Um, especially if it got wet and like the uncomfortable sort. If it's that, it's not going to be com and it's not comfortable for us. It's not going to be comfortable for the hamster. Um, so yeah, and the kitchen towel is basically the same as loot roll, so I'm not going to go into detail with that one, because I'm basically... Now I want to talk about litter. So there is the pellet based litter, but I haven't really used that on my hamsters, but if any of you guys have an opinion on that that you would like to share in the comments below, feel free. So I'm going to talk about the potty litter bedding, or any bedding that's similar to that. So we'll start with the cons. It's expensive. Um, a box like this is 2 99 This is a different bag, but it's kind of like that size. A bit smaller, actually. And it's smaller than this bag. You don't really get much in it. And it's 2 99 And it's actually the super potty litter that my friend gave me. It's similar to the potty litter. It's similar, it's just got kind of like smaller balls in there. It sticks to the litter trays and sometimes if you kind of move it forward it stains it a bit. Um, but the pros of it is it keeps odour down, which is good. It clumps so if you've got a little scoop you can just scoop it up easily but it doesn't stick to the feet which is good you can see where they've been um it's widely available it's quite easy to get hold of like most pet shops sell some form of small animal litter so Thank you for watching my hamster bedding's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it was quite long, but I did not want to sit there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.